so a few months back when this came out in the theaters, one week apart from the movie Polar, which also stars Mads Mikkelsen, I was a bit confused. Two movies with one word cold team titles starring the same guy. It was weird. But then I looked into it and realized they're two very different movies. And on the surface this actually looked a lot more like the type of movie I'd enjoy. But to my surprise I enjoyed both of them. I liked Polar a lot, but I also liked this one quite a bit. Maybe not quite as much. And for very different reasons, because they have virtually nothing in common. And this one is a very stripped down simple survival story. One that starts smack dab in the middle of it all. With the survival situation already underway. There's no setup or anything, and I usually like that approach. And I like it here too. There's no unnecessary backstory or drama. It's just a guy in the middle of the Arctic, alone and trying to survive. And when the movie starts, this guy already has a bit of a routine going. He's very methodical and organized and has apparently been there for a while. There's barely any dialogue and virtually no exposition either. Everything you need to know you learn bit by bit by paying attention. And I love the way they handled that, it's just so simple and effective. This is pretty much a no frills movie with almost no unnecessary stuff. It's essentially just a story about perseverance and the human spirit. It's for the most part well shot too and a decent looking movie. There aren't any fancy tricks or anything. They just rely on a compelling premise and great acting. That being said, I did have a few issues with the movie. Well, really only two and one is a bit of a nitpick. And the other one is a little bit more serious. So let's start with the nitpick. It's a sequence that was clearly shot on a set. For good reason, it's pretty obvious. I understand why they did it. But because most of the movie is actually shot on location, that part just didn't blend in. It just looked fake and that bothered me. And I guess what bothers me the most is that it wasn't really necessary. The whole sequence could have been cut differently or cut out entirely. And as easily as that, that whole problem would have been solved. But overall, that's not exactly a major issue. But it was something that did stand out. Now what is a slightly bigger issue is the female character, who's not really even a character. I mean, she doesn't really have one. She's essentially a glorified plot device that's only really there to make the situation more challenging. And I'm not saying that to be funny either, as in her character is just underdeveloped and flat. No, you can barely even call her a character. She doesn't have a personality. She doesn't do anything. She's quite literally just there. And that's not an exaggeration. It's probably one of the least developed characters in any movie ever. And that did bother me quite a bit, and it's one of the only real issues I had with the movie. But it's a pretty significant issue, because you're supposed to sympathize with her. But she does nothing other than make things more difficult. How am I supposed to sympathize with a character like that? I don't really get it, and I don't understand the choice to include her in the first place. At least in the way they decided to include her. If they were set on having her in the movie, they needed to do something with her. And I don't think it would have been very difficult, to be honest. To at least do something with her. Anything. Give her a personality, for God's sake. But no, as it is, to me at least, she adds nothing to the story. The story would have worked just fine without her, and I would have liked it more. Because Matt Mikkelsen does a great job carrying this movie. I mean, he's always good, and he's really good in this one too. And he really needs to be, because he's essentially the only one doing anything on screen. I mean, this is a one-man show, and a pretty gripping one too. But yeah, the choice to include the female character did hold the movie back a little bit, in my opinion. And that is a shame, because I pretty much liked everything else about it. But would I recommend it? Sure, why not? It's a pretty good movie. So maybe give it a look, maybe don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to get myself a private helicopter. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.